Hiker documentary, I explore the possibility of a safe and open space that is accessible to the student body. A great example of this is the literary magazine called Sabanas. Their goal is to inspire fellow students to be fearless when it comes to expressing yourself. Sabanas. This is uh, three members of Sabanas minus two. Um, first of all, I'd like to ask, why did you all start this magazine? And what prompted you? Well, um, when I started the magazine, I talked with, uh, with our mentor, uh, Professor Rizari, about the lack of a printed magazine where students could take pride in their published works and seeing them printed for the first time in their lives. And I remember uh, reading uh, one of the magazines, which was like from 2006, it was called Pastiche. And that's basically where it all started. I talked with them and then I talked with my girl. Oh, no, he, no, we are. He didn't talk to me. He talked, to talked me. about it to me and I was like, oh, I want to join. And then I talked with uh, Carolina and she said yes to me. And that's how it came to me. And uh, how did the concept of Sabanas oh, came concept. to be? And why Sabanas? The, the, the concept, the name came out of the concept. We, want, we wanted uh, to have a space in which students could have their first publishing experience and could be comfortable with it. So we started talking and throwing around the words of, of what our goal was. And our goal was to create something, um, create a space in which they could feel, the students could feel comfortable and could feel, um, you know, creative and just like a safe space, and that's when the name came out of it. Kind of like a joke at first, but then it made sense for it to be saunas, because saunas is where you're more intimate, where you're vulnerable, where you could sometimes even be more creative. There's a lot of people that like to express themselves when they're in the solitude of their room, because that's where they're more comfortable. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, also, you have no fear of being judged and uh, negative criticism. No, I, wow. <laughs> we have, I mean, do we have a fear of being judged and negative? I know. Mean, we've I mean, we, certainly been criticized. Yes. At, no, but we have, we have had some negative criticism about how we perhaps do our work. We had a bit of an yeah. issue with that and during the first time publishing. So those uh, negative criticism was because of misinformation that that person yeah, certainly. had. Certainly, yeah, Definitely. misinformation. And, yeah. and we criticized ourselves, like we criticized uh, each other all the time. Yourself. Yeah, but that's part, that's part of our job. <laughs> and I think, what, but, but we can criticize each other. We do it all the time, obviously. It's part of our job. But, but someone that's receiving criticism is also going to be part of it because we're creating a, a magazine with art, with poetry, with literature that's obviously not perhaps going to be for everyone. It should be for everyone and everyone could enjoy it, but there are, and there have been, um, people that perhaps don't agree with our methods, but it will certainly be because of misinformation. We've been pretty and also, it's, it's art. Everyone has a different perspective of exactly. art. Maybe what someone's view of a magazine should be is not maybe the art view. <laughs> so far, Savanas has been extremely su successful, more than we even anticipated. Do you consider Savanas to be a safe space for students to express themselves without fear of, you know, outside judging this and criticism? I think it is. I mean, we want it to be. Um, but at the same time, we can't control what the readers say about what they're reading. Mm -hmm. I mean, for us, at least when they send it to us and we read them, you know, we try to be as loyal to them as we can. We try to keep the format, we keep the grammar. If they want us to change their names, we change their names. You know, we do whatever they want us to do. We respect their work. But, you know, I give you the magazine to someone else and they disrespect it. You know. just, yeah. just like the name suggests, yeah. Sabanas. Uh, it invites your most intimate thoughts, mm -hmm. your most intimate feelings, uh, so that other people can be part of those thoughts and feelings. Yeah, and we don't always agree with what they write. We don't judge you because of what you write. Well, we try to be unbiased with the works that we receive, but um, as students, as editors, as human beings, we 
won't always necessarily agree with, with, with what we with what we get. But the, the process of, of Sawanas and being in a safe space is very conflicting for us sometimes because we really do want to um, offer the students a safe space, but they but there are also some some standards that we have to adhere to for the magazine to be um, well known, recognized, prestigious, and to be a really good quality magazine. So. There are certainly some things that we might not accept. We try to not accept a lot of, of racist content or demeaning content because we want to create a safe space. Safe space is, I think, in, in my opinion, um, goes hand in hand with familiarity. It's all about the students and about the, the authors and the writers. And we, just, we just try to stick to our, our initial goal and our initial vision, and we hope that our that our authors do too. Two, three, go.